Praise the Lord Apostolic. Paul said to the Corinthians to be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Praise God for giving us another day. There is so much to be thankful for. Thank you for joining Dr. Brazier for prayer. Please click the like icon and share this broadcast on your profile. Let us know where in the world you are tuning in from in the comments and prepare to be greeted by our pastor, Dr. Byron T. Brazier. So we communicate as an act of faith. It is out of faith that we speak to God in real and true terms. Because in speaking to God, he, is, he has always been live and real and in real time. And it is, the, it is the way, the prescribed way for us to talk and to appeal to the God of our salvation. It is through and so I got to help somebody else because the, the salvation is for me, but it's not just for me to stay in me. It's for me to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And I can only do that when I utilize the gifts that I have for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, and for the edifying of the body of Christ. When we pray, we know that our prayer We'll get through. It don't matter how, how cloudy it is or how bad you feel. When you go on your knees and you say, Lord, I thank you. When you praise him, it's hard to be depressed. When you praise him, it's hard to be a complainer. You say, Lord, I just thank you for being able to walk. I thank you for being able to talk. I thank you for the testimony that we have. Praise the Lord and good morning in Jesus' name. Today is the day that the Lord has made and we're just thankful for each and every one of you who have joined in on this morning. Somebody shout hallelujah and somebody give God a great praise to all those who are on this on this uh, prayer line on this morning. Uh, and as we go before the Lord in prayer, giving him great thanks, uh, we have to recognize what we're thanking him for. And, and, and when we do, we have to always go back to his faithfulness. Uh, and always back to his promises. His faithfulness are linked to his promises and his promises are linked to his faithfulness. And when the Lord is faithful, uh, his promises continue to be, uh, be true in our lives. Uh, and since they're already uh, laid out for us in the word, that is what we depend on. That is what our faith is all about. And so on yesterday, I use the text uh, out of Joel, Joel 32, when it says, it shall come to pass and whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Uh, but I want to go, I want to go up to verse 25 uh, at the same, for the, for the same, for, for the follow on, which is, if in fact you call on the name of the Lord, you shall be delivered. Verse 25 says, and he will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty. See, when you call on the name of the Lord, you'll be restored. And when you call on the name of the Lord, ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord that has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, this is a, uh, this, this text. Uh, that comes out of Joel. Uh, if you call on him, he said, I'll restore you. Whatever anybody took from you, whatever the world, whatever life took from you, I'll restore it. And my great army, which I have sent among you, he said, and I'll, and you shall eat plenty. Be satisfied. You'll praise him and, and, and for his wondrous works in your life. And you shall never, ever be ashamed. And when And when you read a text like this, Many times people say, well, you know, uh, I don't want you to overstate the word and overstate his promises. You cannot overstate the promises of God. 
Uh, if in fact you run into trouble, it doesn't mean that the Lord's promises are not true. The Lord will bless you through. You can't, you can't have plenty unless you've been hungry. You can't be restored unless things have been lost. You can't call on him uh, and ask for deliverance unless there's something that you need to be delivered from. The Lord has given you, has given us plenty. And the Lord has put a praise in our lips, a praise on our hearts, and we shall rejoice and be glad in him. So to Teresa Kimbrough, to Cheryl McGill, to Ida Gill, to all the Gill, to Melvina Cox, to each and every one, the Lord has blessed you to receive. He has blessed you to be a recipient. He has blessed you and provided provisions for your life. The Lord has done wondrously for you, for your children and your children's children. He, he has honored all of his blessings. He has honored all uh, of our prayers. And even though people say, well, you know, you don't want to overcommit. You can't overcommit that which God has already said. You don't want that people's expectations to be higher than, than what they need to be. You cannot muzzle the promises of God and try to bring them back down to some human ideal. Because there is trouble, we need God. Because there is things that, things that we need to overcome, we need the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come right now in the name of Jesus, giving you honor, glory, and thanks for your goodness and your mercy. And we thank you, Lord, for the love, oh Lord, that you have provided for us, the grace, your mercy, your calling, uh, your provisions. Lord, everything about you, Lord, we just thank you because Lord, you are present in our lives. You sent back the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit resides in us, around us, about us. And Lord, we are kept by your Holy Spirit. We are kept by your word. We are kept by your promises kept by your faithfulness, kept, Lord, by your divine power. And now, Lord, as we come before you, Lord, because when we call on your name, we shall be delivered. And so, Lord, we're going to call right now in the name of Jesus. We're going to call right now, and we're going to give you praise. We're going to call on you right now. And, Lord, you've already promised that you'll bless us. You've already promised that you'll keep us. And, Lord, you've already worked wonders in our lives. You've already done it, Lord. And so we do thank you for what you've already done. We do thank you, O oh Lord, for what you've already promised. We do thank you for the faithfulness that continues to move and to and to have uh, your, your, your being in our lives. So now, Lord, we pray your strength upon us as we go about this day. Lord, let us always have a praise on our lips. Let us always, O oh Lord, give you, give you glory. Lord, let us always know Lord, that it is you who makes provisions. It is you who provides. So Lord, give us wisdom beyond our years. Give us an understanding. Lord, open up doors, oh Lord, where they have been closed. Lord, but close doors that you don't want me to go through. Lord, open up our eyes, oh Lord, that we might see the goodness and your mercy and you in our lives. Lord, we pray your blessings upon our children and our children's children. And Lord, bless the church as it contends with the things that are going on in this world. Bless the church, Lord, as we protect the sheep. Bless the church as we move forward in your name. Bless the church, Lord, we ask that you will touch right now in your name, and we will forever give you the praise, the glory, and all the honor in Jesus' name. Let us say amen. Amen to you, Teresa Kimbrough and Paula Harris. May God bless you. In Jesus' name, Elizabeth Brown, the Lord has been good to all of us. And uh, as we approach the day, uh, we know that we have day timers on today, uh, and it's going to be the survey on the last days. Uh, so uh, uh, Elder Hayes is going to be doing this survey about what the last days are all about. And then on tomorrow, we have uh, Word Encounter, uh, and we're looking forward uh, to uh, presenting the Word to our young people, and then we will have our Bible class and the gathering of the saints. Amen. So I thank the Lord for you. May God bless you. And please don't forget Thursday, the truth about, about my temple. It is, the, it is the Sisterhood Connections Wellness Month. And on Thursday, six o'clock at a Zoom virtual session, 
uh, meet Dr. Patricia Davis and talk about the uh, uh, eye health. Eyes are very, very important. Amen. So I thank the Lord for you. May God bless you, uh, Judy Henry. May God bless you, uh, Francis Allen, and, uh, and, uh, and, and everybody that's on this call. Uh, bless the Lord at all times, and his praise will continually be in my mouth. May God bless you. Ladies, May is Health Awareness Month, and the Sisterhood Connection wants you to know the truth about your body. They are gearing up for a four-week series entitled The Truth About My Temple. This educational series will include mental health, eye health, skin health, and physical fitness health. Join the Sisterhood Connection every Thursday in May. This will be online only. Discussion begins at 6 p.m. Join the discussion and learn more about your temple. Please scan the QR code on screen to receive Zoom link to access online gathering. Be well.